Hi, my name is Kathy Moyne and we're here at Green Thumb Nursery to talk about reju rejuvenating those old succulent pots you might have sitting around. After a while they get kind of tired looking and things get stretched out. So I have some examples of some things that you can do to help those from small arrangements to big arrangements. So we're going to start with a smaller arrangement. This one here is real simple. It's just a clay pot with two little succulents in there. But as you can see, this guy right here is not a happy camper. So we're going to get rid of him. We're just going to... Now, sometimes people think, oh, you're being so rough with these things. Succulents are really easy and forgiving when you start messing with them. Now, there's some dead leaves in around the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. Real simple thing to do. Now sometimes when I'm pulling these out, some of the other leaves kind of pop off a little bit. No worries. Now if it's a nice fresh leaf, you can actually start another one off of it. I mean succulents just keep on giving. They're the plant that just keeps on giving. And with this one, I decided I'm going to throw in an aeonium. And just to give it a little bit different color. I mean to me that was kind of boring. Um, Monocolor, I'm more of a... a, a tie-dye t-shirt gal so now as you can see this is going to be a little big to fit into that little bitty hole so I am going to manipulate this guy a little bit I'm just going to peel him apart gently and as you can see it's real easy to manipulate these succulents now I'm going to make some room in here I'm not going to need any new soil because there's soil here and I've got plenty of soil in the pot and it seems to be pretty fresh. So I'm just going to tuck these down in and they're going to hang up over and we'll add some more height to our pot. And let's see, I'm going to try to get that other little guy in here. So I'm going to take off some of this soil, just gently shake it. And then I'm going to put that down into the hole. So just like that, bip bam boom, I now have a new arrangement. Isn't that cool? So it didn't take very long at all, guys. That was like what a couple minutes. So now we've now you can go give this to your friends for a gift if you want and need a gift. So I got another small one here. Now this one there's not really a whole lot wrong with it, other than the fact that it's kind of boring to me. And I thought it was such a cute little pot. So I'm going to take some cuttings from this plant right here, as you can see. He's kind of stretched out, so I'm okay with taking a few little pieces off of him. And so I'm just going to cut along the stem, and I'm going to peel off some of these older leaves. And I got my handy little stick right here, and you can use a pencil, you could use a chopstick, whatever. And I make a little pilot hole there, and then I'm just going to tuck this guy down in here. Now, a lot of times I will tell people, especially if it's a real meaty succulent, that you let the succulent dry off a little bit. Um, heal over is what we like to call it. So it scars. So this little cut that you make on the end, it's a fresh cut. And a lot of times, if it's a real fat succulent, you want to let that heal over. Maybe an hour or two, just long enough for it to not be like raw going into the arrangement. But these smaller ones are a little more forgiving. So we're, I'm just tucking these down in here. Now what this is going to do is it's going to add a little more color to this and a little more pop, I think. And it's going to make this little star look like the star that it is. So we're going to put this little one here in the middle, kind of like a little trifecta here. And there you go. Something real simple to make this this plant look a little bit better. Isn't he cute? So that's one way to rejuvenate or to add to a pot that's already existing. Take some cuttings. Like I said, succulents are very um, easy to share with others. So here's another arrangement. As you can see, this one is all stretched out. We got a dead one over here. This guy's still good. So I'm going to hang on to him, and I'm going to get rid of these other guys. I'm going to take this guy out here. Now this one here looks like he got a little too much water. This one, 
maybe not enough water. And I'm going to go ahead and take this guy out here. And he doesn't want to come out so easy. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of that one. I'm going to take out some of this soil here. It's uh, kind of dry and hard. So I might just go ahead and, you know what, I'm going to just take this. See, and that's another thing. Once you get in here and you start looking at it, you might just think, you know, I think I'm just going to start over with some new fresh soil. And it's kind of root bound. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off some of the loose soil. And we're going to use the EB Stone Cactus and Succulent Mix for this. And this can be used directly into the pot. Sometimes if, if the, the pot drains really well, I might add a little bit of potting soil in there with it. But for the most part, you can use this cactus mix straight without adding anything to it. So okay, so now we're going to refresh this little soil here a little bit. And then I've decided to put in with this guy, we're going to do a like the similar, two similar colors. This is a calancho, a variegated calancho called Aurora. I'm sorry, sedum, called Aurora. And this one, we're going to, again, we're going to pull it apart because I want it to be a little bit smaller, thinner, so I can tuck it in to the little holes I've created. And I'm seeing how much soil I'm going to need to put in here. And then we're just going to plop that in there like that. And then I'm going to pull this one apart a little bit. So now I not, may not need all these to go in here, so I can save them for another arrangement. Yeah, there we go. And let's see. I think I have something else I can sh throw in here, hanging out in the corner over here. I found one of these little uh, hinted chicks. So I'm going to throw him in here, tuck him into the a little underneath here, and then that way it'll give us another little texture in our combo and a little bit different color. So now, there you have it. So again, real simple, real quick, just so easy to make these arrangements nice and fresh again. Easy to give for gifts if you want. Okay, so now we're going to have, we got some a little bit bigger succulents here, uh, arrangements here. So I'm going to hang on to this. I might be able to tuck it in here. Now, the problem with this one is it's gotten some powdery mildew on, on some of these. Believe it or not, succulents can get powdery mildew. So just meaning that it was probably a little too shady. Well, it was a little too shady because I know where this was sitting. And so mildew came along and it had the right things that it needed to grow, which for mildew, it just needs moisture and it needs the right temperature. So and this one here has also got some problems with mildew. I was gonna try to save it, but I'm not gonna do that now. Okay, so what we could do with this one is the leaves on the outside are the ones that have the mildew. So we can actually peel those leaves off and get it down to that middle section that's still in good shape. In fact, I think, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it off. Now, because this one's real meaty, I'm gonna let this one go ahead and heal. So I'm not gonna use him in this arrangement, but see how that, it's got a thick stem on there? I'm going to let this one sit and heal because if I do put this in the soil, it might end up rotting. So we're going to put this aside. I'll use it in something else. And I th I'm sure I have plenty of stuff here. Now I like this one here. He's going to stay. And I like this one here. I'm just going to peel off some of these leaves that are not looking too hot. And then we're going to throw in, let me get rid of this stuff here. We're going to throw in some Parashula repustris, and this is going to kind of hang over, and I think, actually, I think I'm going to move this one to a different spot. So we're going to keep him, but we're going to put him somewhere else. And then this one, and again, as you're, as you're going, you can create, as you, you know, if you see something that you 
think would look better in there. If you've got some succulents laying around the house, you can always add them to it. So I'm gonna put this over this. So now it's gonna have like a dual cascade there. And then we're going to put, this one is a um, hen and chicks again. I like these hen and chicks, they're easy to grow. And we're gonna put that back here now I'm going to peel off any of the dead leaves that are on the bottom because this is a good time to do that. I guess I'm OCD, so I want to get all this dead junk out of here if I can so that it's not in there later on. And then I'm going to put that right here in the middle. So I need to make a little room for it. And then I'm going to tuck this down in here. And then we're going to throw our little fuzzy guy back in here. This is a Calancho. I'm going to throw him back in. So now we have a little more height in the back. We have our little rosette in the middle here. And it's going to give us a little, gives a little different color. And then I'm going to use some of those uh, crashulas that I had earlier. This is a pork and beans variegated. And I'm going to shove that in there. Okay, so that'll kind of hang off on this little corner. Uh, let's see, what else could I put in here? Let me grab... Uh, see, I got a hole over here, so I'm going to grab this guy again. And I'm going to take some more cuttings off of this guy. And we're going to throw him down in here. I need a little soil. Now I've seen people use spoons to help you get this stuff in here. Uh, another guy that I've saw uh, some videos on. Oh, and by the way, if you do like this video, please click the like button. And also hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you know when we have new videos out. But he uses like a turntable and tweezers. Nice big tweezers, like some big tweezers to do his little arrangements with. I'll just throw that in there so that'll kind of give some more color. Whoops. Let me stick. Kind of make a little hole there. Oh, and then I'm going to put another one of those hen and chicks. Now see these little, little guys on the edge? That's why they call it hen and chicks. Because they have little chicks. Aren't they cute? And those would grow up and become big chicks. Well, actually, it'll become the hens. So we got that there. And let's see, do I have anything else I want to throw in there? Yeah, let's throw a little bit of this guy in here. This is... Uh, Cramnocetum. Say that three times fast. Little gem. And I'm going to throw a little bit of this in here, too. So it'll give us another little texture. So it kind of looks like a little flower arrangement. Now when I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and water it down so that all you don't see all this dust and dirt. <laughs> right now I'll just kind of blow it off. And there we go. So this is nice and rejuvenated. And this will be good for at least another six months or so. And then we can mess with it again. So that's that one. And then I have this one here. Now this one, obviously, it's died out. So we, we, we don't need this in here. We're not going to keep that part. And we'll take that out. These other little guys still look good. This guy, unfortunately, he is also starting to get some powdery mildew and he's too tall for me. I don't like him in here. So again, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to cut his top off. And I'm going to save him for another time. Let him heal. And there's still these leaves. This one got a little bit of mildew on it too. So we've been not putting our, our succulents and things in the right spot. They need more sun. Okay, so now, 
we just have these two little guys so I got some stuff to put in here so I want some height so I'm gonna use this is a Calancha longiflora Cosiana no Cosinia and I'm gonna put that in the middle and that's gonna give me the height that I'm looking for in the middle and let's see I think I can put them in here like this a little more space Move some dirt around so now we're going to put that in the middle and as you can see it's already changed the look of this plant. Now on this side I want to put a Hyworthia cone color, C-O-N-C-O-L-O-R, cone color. Imagine if it's Espanol that's with color. And then we're going to, I'm going to give a little bit of, get some of this dirt, it's kind of buried a little bit deep. and he's got to have a good space here so I'm gonna to have to scoot this guy over just a hair because he's pretty root bound and this is going to give me a little bit different texture so now I have round and now I have spiky and then on this side I'm gonna put in and see as you can see I'm giving it some pressure making it do what I want it to do. I'm going to pull this apart. And I'm going to put him in here. And this is going to give me a little bit different color, which is what I'm looking for. Different textures, different colors. And these are nice because I can do little individuals and kind of poke them in there. And hopefully you'll stay. There we go. All right, so there's that. And then again, we're going to use some more of this little little gem guy. And I'm going to stick him over here. I'm going to divide him up and put him in different corners, sections. This guy actually I'm gonna put that one there and this one here I got a bigger hole on this side so now as these grow they will obviously fill in this pot rather nicely and again so we got the guy up top this guy here with his little spikes now if that's in the way you just simply pick it off so now he's got room to grow and there's uh, that one's not looking too hot, so I'm going to take that one off too. Now, if I wanted to, this guy, I could put in the so in a soil. You know, I could put him like right here, like that, if I wanted to, which I'm not going to. But I could put him like that, and he will grow. He'll get a little guy come out of the base of him, and he'll grow. So you can take leaves and, and get them to grow. Oh, I know. I'm going to take some more of this guy since I've got some and put it around the corner a little more here so it's going to spread that guy around the corner and then i'm going to throw a little bit of limit little gem in here okay so now here we go so again real simple real easy doesn't take very long at all and you could just go around your yard and take cuttings off of your succulent arrangements and let them heal. I would let them heal if you can, if you're not trying to shoot a video, and, and then plant them later. Make gifts for friends. I mean, it's, you know, the holidays are here, so. Okay, so now I have a little bit of that left over. All right, I've got, this one's my, one of my favorite ones. I think he's so cute. And I guess he's, he's seen better days. He's kind of getting old, and like with all of us. And I'm just gonna get rid of this whole top. I mean, it's 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 tired. Again, I can take the little babies off the side if I wanted to and save them for another arrangement, or I can just take the center part and get rid of the rest. So this, we're gonna keep this guy. This is a Calancho. I'm gonna keep him. And I'm going to use, this is Sedum gold copper and this is one of my favorites this is Aeonium Sunburst so we're gonna make this 
this little guy or girl. He doesn't really it could be either one. We're gonna put this in top. This is gonna become its hair. Let's see, I need to get a little bit deeper. This is gonna be the hair. Uh, this might be a guy because he looks like he's maybe not. Might be a girl too. It could be whatever you want it to be. Let's put it that way. And this guy, I'm going to actually trim him off. And I'm going to use him. Now again, because I'm in a hurry to get this done, I'm not going to let it heal. But I am going to stick it down in here. And this is going to be kind of like little flower. You guys can have flowers too. And then we're going to throw, we can throw this guy back in here. And we can throw this guy back in here too. There we go. Now yeah, we're all new. It's just like going to the salon and getting a new hairdo. Any cute? Or she? Okay, so now that I've kind of done that, we might want to throw some fertilizer in. This is Osmocote, and I like to use Osmocote. It's a slow-release fertilizer, and we're just going to take some of these BBs and throw them in around the succulents, trying not to get them on the leaves because we want them to be in the soil so they'll break down. And these you do, this you do twice a year, spring and fall. This is an easy one. Which so I like is because you don't have to do it, but just twice a year. And every time you water, it releases fertilizer. Or you could use something like this, which you would repeat every two weeks. And this goes to work right away. It doesn't have to be broken down. So there's some good tips for you. We've got the EB Stone Cactus Mix for when you're changing them around. The Osmocote for when you're wanting to feed long term, and then this cactus and succulent mix for when you're when you're more on it. You want to get them to grow a little bit faster. So that is it in a nutshell. So I hope this was helpful for you, and thank you for watching, and have a great day.